Hi there, I'm Candy with Order Your Spaces, a professional organizing company serving Mobile and Baldwin counties. I get the privilege of entering into women's homes and helping them to reduce the stress by reducing the clutter and finding a home for all their belongings. Now today, what I wanted to share with you are my tips on not having that last minute anxiety of getting the stockings stuffed. So I'm gonna share with you what's been working for me I used to have that last minute anxiety because in November and December, as I was collecting the things for the stockings, I would just, you know, throw them in a box, throw them in a box, throw them in a box. And then the night before, I would be in this anxiety mode trying to get the right things in the right stockings. Well, as uh, my children have grown up and gotten married, and we have grandchildren now, I have nine stockings uh, that I stuff, and I enjoy doing this and I start picking up things along the way. So I'm gonna show you how I avoid that last minute anxiety. First off, I wanted to show you uh, the stockings that I use for my six grown children and my grandchildren. Um, I get these with L.L. Bean. I don't work for L.L. Bean. Uh, this is just my honest review. The reason I've chosen these beautiful stockings from them is they have been making these for the last 30 years. I am thinking they will continue to make them for another 30 years. And so as I add more members to my family and more grandchildren, I can easily match the stockings. So these are what I use and they have all different colors and designs and I really enjoy them. They're a nice size and I feel like they're heirloom quality and um, I feel like they'll be passed down. This is one of those things I don't consider clutter, ladies. All right. So now, here's what it looks like when I'm out and about. Every time I make a Target run, I'm picking up stocking stuffers, and so I start coming home with tons of these bags, okay? So, to avoid the last minute rush, I have Ziploc bags with names on them, okay? Nine different names for my nine different people. And so as I come home with my son, his favorite candy, then guess what? His favorite candy, goes in his bag, all right? Uh, when I picked up these cute little Target gloves for my girls, okay, all the girls on my list, um, this went in that bag. Uh, something else I picked up for all my girls. I hope they're not watching this. Spoiler alert, right? Okay, these pedicure stones, and so that goes in all the girls' bags. And so you can see how it works. Um, I picked up these um, nail polishes, this really popular mulberry, cranberry color that all the girls are wearing. And so I'm putting that in all of my girls' bags, all right? And so forth and so on. And so as I pick up, you know, my son's favorite candy, that goes in his bag, okay? So as I'm picking up things as I, and as I'm out and about, all right? I come home and I empty the bags into the individual Ziploc bags with their name on it. So that way, guess what? For example, this stocking, after all the things, I do put fruit and nut, nuts and that kind of thing. But then this bag actually, um, well, it does work, okay. I've already practiced this one time, so I know it works. All right, uh, this bag, there we go. It actually goes down in the stocking because what I found in my earlier years is my kids would empty out their stockings with all these little things and would not have anything to contain it. And now my children are grown and they leave my house and go to their home and they had all these things. So now the bag goes down inside the stocking and so when they empty their stocking, they get the bag and they just take it home with all the things in it. Now, I would like to find a prettier um, Christmassy type bag and not the Ziploc bag. So if you girls know of anything that is kind of vertical that would fit down in a stocking that would be prettier than the Ziploc, I, I would love to know about that. Um, so anyway, magazines are another great stocking stuffer. Um, the new Mary Poppins movie. I know a lot of my kids will be going to that, so I'm just gonna put this, roll this little version up, put it down in the stocking. Um, 
But anyway, this is how I avoid last minute anxiety with stuff, stuffing the stockings. Yeah, so I hope these tips helped you. I'd love to hear what you do to avoid that last minute stuffing the stockings. Um, and what are some things that you put in the stockings that don't increase clutter in people's lives but are actually usable things uh, that they will use up. So I enjoyed this chat today about stuffing our stockings. I hope you're uh, getting your items ready. Christmas is just around the corner. As always, please share this video with your friends and let's increase our audience for 2019 so that we can help women live a more uncluttered life. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye now.